Hi guys, it is a gorgeous day here in the garden, here in the garden, in paradise, in the end times, in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, on my last day in the Hollywood Hills, I regret to inform you, I believe it's Tuesday, June 27th, 2017. So I'm getting ready to do my uh, weekly Tuesday morning, my weekly Tuesday morning uh, wacky conspiracy rant. And what we're going to be talking about today is, is one of these few areas where Alex Jones and Chris Hedges would agree. Uh, and this is going to be a discussion of this new book out called, uh, perhaps you've heard of it already, which I've got to get, uh, from a fellow named Garrett Graff and his new book, Raven Rock, The Story of the U.S. Government's Secret plan to save itself while the rest of us die. That is exactly it, but it's not so secret anymore. Uh, so anyone thinking that this is some goddamn Alex Jones wacky conspiracy, think again. So anyway, I'm, that's what the rant's going to be about. But what I want to play here is a, uh, a snippet from an excellent interview on uh, good old NPR, Fresh Air with Terry Gross from a couple of days ago. Uh, I will put the link to this interview. It's uh, 37 minutes. I strongly encourage you to uh, listen to this excellent interview with Terry. But we're going to go to the towards the uh, towards the end of it where uh, he's what what Graf is talking about here is uh, the nuclear football which some people misconstrue to be the button that the president pushes to um, to actually start a nuclear war he calls it a nuclear football instead of a button. But anyway, this is probably the single most terrifying uh, minute of the, uh, of the entire interview when Terry asked, uh, asked the author about what is standing between Donald Trump between, she doesn't mention, she just says the president, and this is any president, but now, of course, is Donald Trump. What is standing between Donald Trump and nuclear Armageddon? And this was uh, Mr. Graff's answer. I hope you're going to be able to hear this. Let me get this as loud as I can. Take it away. What is standing between Donald Trump and nuclear Armageddon. Well, God damn it. Of course, it's not gonna play. It's not gonna play. Unilaterally, there we go. a nuclear attack. Between, there's nothing between him and doing it. It's just the way that these procedures have evolved over the years is to remove any middlemen that could slow the process down because the decision-making window would be so short as it is. You know, the president might only have 8 to 10 to 12 minutes to make a decision about launching a nuclear weapon. There wouldn't be any time to double-check with someone else. And so we have very carefully crafted a system that uh, ensures that there's nothing that slows down a presidential launch order. But those plans were always predicated upon the idea that the person giving the launch order is the most thoughtful, most intelligent, most sober-minded individual that you could possibly imagine atop the nuclear command and control system. 
There you go. Uh, if anybody after that comment does not understand why we are so fucked, uh, <laughs> that there is nobody today, as you're listening to this, there is nobody to stop Donald Trump for starting a nuclear war. And this is where we have come as a country and as a planet. We are fucked. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this quote of the day. I hope that whetted your appetite and we're going to get into a, uh, a fuller rant about this new book coming right up. Bye, guys.